All right, good evening, everybody. It is that time again. I've been threatened to do it. And it's happening now. Oh. And, uh, piece of paper, I don't know what that was. That's my notebook. Gotta have my uh, notebook ready. Because today we are going to embark on the Final Fantasy game Square does not want you to play. That's right, it's NES Final Fantasy 2. I think it's great. It's one of the strangest Final Fantasy games there is. And I, quite frankly, I just think most people haven't played this for uh, a lot of reasons, many of which are good. And do it now. As soon as I get it uh, set up. There we go. Do let me know if it's a little too loud. Alright. Uh, let's pump up the speed just a little bit. Alright, and uh... Yeah, I think it might be a little too loud. Too much? Uh, it's actually not a new mic. I am uh, I have a different setup for this because I'm playing it on my PC and not on a system or anything. I have a much better uh, seating arrangement, shall we say, distance from the mic, that sort of thing. Oops. So I had to move my window over. So this is the first Final Fantasy game that has actual characters. Yeah, this set's, setup's good. I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, default names. It's Furion, Leonhart, or just Leon. Uh, Maria. Yep, that's Leon. There he is. And, uh, Guy. Nope. Uh, nope, not for this one, since this is an actual, uh, actual game with real characters. Final Fantasy III, though, we can get the dogs. So, the game begins with a battle. You're, uh, thrust right into it. I'm sure it'll go well. Yeah, it's going real well. Real good. <laughs> Thank you for your contribution, Furion and Maria. Your service is noted. Maria gets another turn because she's in the back row, which is another one of the uh, new things that is in this game. Front row, back row originated here. Well, the game's over. Everyone's dead. It's all right, though. Uh, fortunately, this uh, this guy Min, he uh, that's Minwu, and he knows Life Seven, very powerful spell. And in combination with this uh, hexagram, we're gonna be cool. We're gonna be good. Everything will be fine. Everybody's waiting for them at the meeting, so uh, don't worry about the uh, guy who's just died. Because right now the Evil Empire is building a Death Star at Bosk, and uh, everybody's gonna die. It's just, we went first. Yeah, this game, uh... A lot of stuff happens in this game. Oh no, the uh, Princess Hilda found us, and brought us back, and then they cast Life 7 on us. That, that's how it works. Yeah, Teleport is a separate spell, but actually, uh, Minwu knows that one as well. Uh, 
I, I don't know. He just did it. Oh, level one. Now hang on a sec. We're not level one. Oh no. First we gotta try to uh, join the rebels, though. And this rebel army theme, like, this is one of the few things from this game that Square still recognizes. Like, they play this song at the, uh, the Distant Worlds concerts. Uh, this is the rebel army theme. I played the, uh, the Jador theme earlier, though, from uh, Final Fantasy VI. It actually comes from this game. It's an unused dungeon track that they brought forward. Alright, so first off, Hawk is talking about are we level 1, are we level 5? We're level nothing. There, there are no levels in this game. There's stats, but there's no levels. So you can see Furion's got, uh, he's got power, agility, vitality, intelligence, soul, defense, attack, all this good stuff. And he has weapon skills as well. There are no actual levels in this game, though. No experience points. Uh, it's a very radical departure from how the game, or how the original game was. We'll talk a little bit more about how you advance your characters in the future, but uh, these uh, these starting stats kind of define what we're going to do. And another new thing to this game is the uh, password system. Some NPCs will... Uh, th this is basically how the game gates progression. The world map is set up so you can just walk wherever you want, really. And the only way the game can gate progression is with this keyword system. So by using this keyword that we learned from Hilda and talking to her, he tells, or rather she tells us, our first place is to go. It's neat. And we'll talk to Min as well. Oh, how are you enjoying uh, Dark Souls? Are you having fun? I think it's a great game. Good, I'm glad you're enjoying it. And uh, hopefully, you know, if you get stuck, you can just check back on the archive. And uh, hopefully I got it right <laughs> back when I was playing the game. potion. Alright, so this is uh, this is where all the rebels fled when Alderaan was destroyed, or something. Like, this game is, it's more or less Star Wars. You'll, you'll see a lot of Star Wars in here. Let's go visit the king. Here he is. Nothing there. <laughs> Alright, so he says Hilda's in charge. Let's uh, use the password. He's old and injured. He doesn't really know the password. That's unfortunate. Yeah, FromSoft games blind are... Uh, they're rough. <laughs> they're really rough. It's Paul, the world's greatest thief. Here he is. But he'll never steal from us. Uh, he also lived in Finn with the rest of us. Alright, so, the first thing that we need to do is, uh... Oh. What are these, talk? Is this the, uh... Oh, wow. Those, uh... Yeah, that that's nothing like <laughs> what, what the characters looked like in, originally. So the first thing that I'm going to do is kind of decide on how I'm going to build my characters. Uh, Firion's an all-rounder, he can go in any direction you need him to. Uh, he starts with a sword and a shield, though. And as a result of that, and the fact that he has the second, or he's tied for the highest soul with uh, Maria... Is that Paul, really? He doesn't look like a ninja at all. I don't know, I think I like original Paul a little better. So Maria 
has, uh, she's got a pretty good amount of soul, but she's got the highest int of the group. So she's going to be uh, a black mage. Ferion is going to be a paladin, like uh, Cecil in FF4. And Guy is going to be Berserker, since he starts with an axe. Now, Maria starts with a bow. We're going to get rid of that. Who needs bows? Bows are the worst weapons in the game. So we're going to get rid of that immediately. Uh, Leon, we got to find him. We're, we're looking for him. Leon, I can tell you, his stats are built to... Uh, he has high strength and also high intelligence. So he is... Basically, uh, you can play him as a Mystic Knight once you get him. Uh, the problem is, because he's using so much heavy armor, he's only really good with uh, damage spells when they hit weaknesses. And I'll talk a bit about that uh, when I deal with magic. So, you have enough money to buy exactly one uh, damage spell, and there's actually a correct choice, and it's ice. This is because, uh, while fire is the best damage spell in the game, because the most number of things are weak to it, you get a free Fire Tome in the first dungeon. So, and the first boss, which is before that, uh, is weak to Ice. So Ice is the first spell you want to grab if you're playing a Black Mage character. And I'm also going to buy uh, another Buckler. This is going to go to Guy. Now using a shield... Oops, sorry, using a shield lowers your attack power. Uh, you can two-hand weapons, and you can also dual-wield, but they don't uh, quite do the things you think they do. Two-handing weapon, when you have it in your dominant hand and nothing in the other hand, increases your attack power. Uh, using a shield decreases it. And wielding two weapons gives you the power of only one of them, but you gain weapon experience for both. Here's Gordon. He's kind of a loser, but uh, he'll be useful later. Alright, so, how do you advance in this game? What happens? Well, first, uh, let's enjoy this really good world map music. Oops. And be on our way. So, we want goblins. We want to fight lots of goblins. These ain't it. So, the way this game works is, every action you take in battle and everything that happens to you in battle affects how your characters grow. You'll see uh, shortly. I took a little bit of damage there. He missed. And <laughs> the hornet ran away. Alright, so let's see what happens. At the end, Maria's magic power and MP went up. You can see she now has 10 maximum MP. And her magic power over there is now 6. Magic power is a stat that tells you how much your MP goes up when it goes up. And the reason Maria gained magic power there is because she used more than one-eighth of her total max MP in that battle. So you gain HP and MP by losing or spending HP and MP. Um, yes. Similarly, you gain Vitality, which is the stat that determines how much MP you, or how much HP you get per level uh, by losing HP as well. If you lose a ninth of your total from what you had, then you get, uh, then you get more, most of the time. And the more you lose, the higher the chances of getting it. Let's see if I can get another... We're using 20% of our MP here. Let's see if we can get another MP growth from Maria. Yes, another MP growth from Maria. That's excellent. We're going to save, lock that in. But we're not getting hit at all. we got to do something about that. Oh, and at the same time, I should show this as well. As we attack, our skills with the various weapons get greater. So Furion is learning how to use swords and shields. 
Maria is learning how to freeze things. And Guy is getting axe and shield. Hawkass, can you cheese that by attacking yourself? Yes, this is the first game in the series where you can attack yourself, and that's why you can attack yourself. So, uh, let's do it. Let's just have everybody punch themselves in the face and see how that does. Very badly. Good job, everybody. Well done. <laughs> that, uh, that didn't go so hot. There we go. I'll have Maria uh, try to freeze us all out. Because that'll hit. Or maybe not. I'd like to get a little HP before we uh, are done with this trip. But yes, you can attack yourself. Uh, it does not heal you from confusion, though. Confusion is in this game, and uh, that doesn't heal it. The only thing that heals it is a high-level spell that you're never going to level up high enough. Now, similarly, you gain, uh... What is it? Soul. So you gain soul by casting white magic, int by casting black magic, power by attacking, all that sort of stuff. Uh, there are a couple weird stats, though. So agility is gained by having a high evasion. And you have a high evasion by having more agility, but also by using shields and light armor. So you can see the evasion right over there. Uh, your evasion is your agility, plus all your evasion bonuses, minus all the penalties. Oops, no, don't say over that file. This one. And it's usually a good idea to beat yourself up a little bit. When you uh, get a chance. You also want to take a lot of attacks. Uh, one of the numbers that you can raise is your evasion level. The way attacks and defense works is you roll a number of attacks equal to your skills and whatever you're attacking with, and then the target rolls a number of defenses equal to its evasion level. And for every successful evasion, that is one that falls within your evasion rate, you dodge an attack. gain M power, but not MP. Interesting. Uh, we're not getting any goblins, though. That, that's unfortunate. There we go. There's some goblins. Uh, we want goblins because they are the most lucrative encounter on the table. They're also the most common, so why we weren't getting them is... I don't know. Check that in just a second. I want to see if Guy gets some uh, HP. No, Guy didn't get any HP. So Guy uh, lost exactly one eighth of his health. That's that is the <laughs> that is the uh, cutoff for gaining such things. And I'm gonna go kind of low armor for a lot of the game to take more damage so that I get hit more, or uh, rather, so that I get more life. So that later in the game, I can put on the heavier stuff and die less. So sometimes when you gain one stat, a connected stat uh, lowers. It's very unfortunate that uh, Maria lost Vit before getting any HP at all.
This has been a very strange game. So I, I tested out the game to make sure that uh, it was gonna work. Oh, actually, let me uh, let me demonstrate real fast. So we saved. Oh, never mind. I guess we're taking a fight in the town and getting ambushed. So you might have noticed that one hornet did nothing, and that is because two of those hornets are in the back row. There could be up to eight enemies on screen at a time, and any enemy that has passed the first two rows is in the back row. Can't be targeted by physical attacks until everything in the front row is gone. And the same goes for your characters as well. You can put them in the back row, and they cannot attack from the back row except with magic, and only magic or bows can attack to the back row. Yeah, two rows, four columns, basically. Kyrion only lost 10% of his HP, so he gets nothing, but Maria picks up an int. And actually, because that happened, I'm going to save before I demonstrate this. So Hawk is pointing out, uh, you know, this town doesn't seem very safe. It's not. Sometimes this happens. Then you get ambushed, and then you die. Don't worry, everybody's going to, uh, they're going to do their best. You can do it, Maria. Get him. Get him. Ice one, yeah! Get him. <laughs> womp womp. Yeah, that's why we saved. Uh, is this possible? Yes, these are beatable enemies, just not at current, uh current skill levels and HP levels. Uh, they're useful later on, though, because they have pretty good drops, if I recall correctly. That was a captain, right? I can uh, I can tell you what it has. Captains? Uh, hmm. Captains can drop. Oh, they drop good stuff. They can drop the uh, the curse tome or toad, in addition to a couple good weapons. Curse in particular is one of the uh, best spells in the game, and killing a captain is a good uh, way to get it. This is the Neo Demi Force translation of the game. I was doing my tests on the uh, the USA prototype, the official one. But it's, uh, it's not usable. Let's put it that way. It's not usable. <laughs> it's funny. But not... Not good. I also note that a lot of the attacks are drawn towards Maria and Guy. Like, they just get attacked more than everybody else. And that makes it a little tough to get some, uh, HP on Furion. You should get it this, this fight, though. I might get some, too. That'd be good. I just need uh, Maria to take a hit. But what if? I might regret this. Ah! No! <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Hubris. Hubris dot MP4 playing out before your eyes. Oh, if I hadn't done that, the gains would have been massive.
Alright, so new rule, we should probably only do that right next to an inn. Also worth noting that this game still has the uh, thing where you miss if you attack something that isn't there. Oh yeah, that's another point. So there are, uh, if you have a status ailment at the end of battle, you don't get any progression towards anything. So as a result of that, they programmed the game so that it would have both temporary status ailments and permanent ones that they could use status ailments frequently without stunting your growth. So that poison I got there was temporary, and there's another one that's translated as Venom that uh, is permanent. So we use the password here, and oh boy, a dying soldier. You'll, uh, you'll need to get used to that. A lot of uh, characters die in this game. In fact, I'd say a majority of the characters in this game die. Here is Gordon's brother, Scott. Scott. You're dying, Scott. So Scott escaped, and he has a request for us. First we have to uh, give Gordon a pep talk. We can do that later. And uh, then we have to tell them who the traitor is. It's Borgen. And, you know, maybe we'll skip this last part. Alright, so uh, this was uh, Hilda's fiancé. Let's pump him for information about Leon. Nope. Sorry. Alright, so we pick up a new key item, the ring. Having the ring lets us check the map which is not useful. Alright, so Scott's dead. That's, uh, that's one dead guy and one missing guy. Leon's missing. That's, that's okay, though, because he can get better. And we can just get out of this place uh, like so. Alright, so we've gotten a couple points and a couple things, but I really need Maria to get some HP. And it's a little rough that she lost that point of it. It's gonna take longer for her to get more HP. And we are at... oh, we're at 154 gil, that's perfect. I want to get to 200 by the time we get back to Altair, because that's how much a cure spell costs, and it's the next thing I need to buy. And if I can get another point of... or another MP upgrade before we get there, that would be perfect. It's looking like I'm gonna have to start concentrating my, uh... my attacks to make sure they go through. Now, magic is a little interesting in this game. Uh, most pieces of equipment, not every piece of equipment, but most of them, have some kind of magic penalty attached to them. Actually, another reason to attack yourself is to make sure that your spellcasters do their thing. So basically what's preventing you from having a fully armored knight also wielding black magic is there is a uh, there's a built-in detriment to doing so, where the accuracy of any spell you cast is reduced by whatever the hidden magic penalty stat of that equipment is. And it is a hidden stat. I've got a list that tells me what it is for uh, the various things. And that's probably information that was in the... Uh, the guide, or the game itself, when it first came out, but it's not there anymore. So right now, the best thing you can do if you want to be a mage is not wield any weapons, 
But if you are going to wield a weapon, you want to wield a staff or a knife. The classic, you know, black mage, white mage weapons. There we go. Got HP, but not Vit. Fine. Oh, saw right there a little airship going by. Sometimes you see that little airship. That's our good friend Sid. This is the game that introduces Sid as a Final Fantasy mainstay. And that's his airship, of course. He's flying around all the time. What am I at? 211? Good. Good. Let's beat ourselves up a bit in front of this town. I, they are just not hitting me today, so I have to hit myself. Let's see. Uh-oh. Hit yourself, but don't crit yourself. Like, that's the rules. We gotta get rid of these guys before they attack. Fit up, HP up, fit up, fit up, HP up. Okay. Oh, where's the inn? We're in dire need of an inn. So the inn cost is based on how much HP and MP you need to restore. I think it's a fourth of your HP and uh, half of your MP in gold, something like that. I'm not entirely certain, though. I feel a little better now that I have uh, some HP. And I'll save again. Go oh, bleed. So you only have to heal 2 HP, it only costs 1 gil. Uh, it might cost 0. I think they round down. Oh, we got another point of int. That's good. This is a vastly different game than my test game. <laughs> In my test game, to make sure that it was working, uh, Marina's gained no int thus far, and I'm already past the first two dungeons. She's got 3 points in this one, so... Yeah, I don't know. That's boding well for Guy. Can't really do fractions right now, but I think he's in line to get something. Maria got agility. So agility is based entirely on your evasion stat. It's just just how they calculate it. And it's bizarre. Like you just get it. So your gains are actually uh, fixed. The question isn't how much you're gonna gain when you get something, it's will you get one or not. Your HP gain is always your vitality, and your MP gain is always your magic power. I'm gonna try to get them one more, though. I wanna get one more HP gain, because this is not enough HP. Everybody proceed to punch self. please. Oh! Got a crit. 
Now let's make sure that we don't kill Maria. So, that's good. We got plenty of money. The next thing we're going to buy is a Cure Spell for Furion. And I'm going to sell these potions as well. Ah, will you still gain if you heal during battle? That is a good question. So... The condition for gaining HP and MP is being one-eighth of your maximum lower than the number you started the battle with. So if you heal and then take damage, you probably won't get it. Generally you want to you know, take damage in one battle and then heal in the next to uh, get the most magic progression. Let's give him the ring. Brother's dead, dude. Sorry. Uh, not using the inn yet. Okay, so I, I have a strategy. Uh, where are we going? Over here. I need to get Furion some MP, since he's going to be playing Cecil, and I need him to be able to cure. You do, you gain magic uh, proficiency, but not MP, if you use magic out of battle. So unfortunately, Scott is dead. And uh, Hilda presses us for more information, but uh, Furion respects man's last wish. And uh, we get to keep the ring. All right. So Hilda's going to send us to our first dungeon. Now let's get Mithril. And our next objective is to see Joseph in Salmando. Now this game is kind of weird, because you'll uh, we'll visit like five towns before we even get to the first dungeon. He's a white wizard. That's good. Alright, so we've got Min, and the first thing that we were going to do to Min is rob him. That's all it goes. Uh, I can't have this either. Ice Scythe, nope. And Maria is going to get this. And she's also going to get that. So you want your uh, you want your mages to attack from time to time. Uh, it's just kind of how the game works. You're not going to be able to cast in every single fight, that sort of thing. But we're going to put Minu in the back. Alright. Oh, this is perfect. Just the battle I want to see. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to buy the spell. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Yeah, I actually have to buy the stuff if I want to do the stuff. That's what we're learning. Furion did take some damage, though. We could get something out of this. And Minwoo's just gonna do, like, shadow boxing in the corner. It's fine. Alright, uh, so what I'm supposed to do... <laughs> is get a shield for uh, Maria. 
Now, shields have a pretty big magic penalty most of the time, uh, but what you can do is de-equip it in the middle of the battle. You take off the magic penalty and then just use your spells as needed. It's actually the first game in the series where uh, you can do mid-combat equipping and unequipping. is before we leave the area, I'm going to get Furion's MP up. And we're going to do that by... Well, first we're going to de-equip him. So that his cure spells can hit. Uh, it's interesting, cure is uh, a damage spell in this game. It uses the same uh, formula as just... as fire, ice, that sort of thing. And the way that damage spells work is they hit a number of times equal to their level, plus a number of times equal to however many successes you roll. So basically, however many hits you roll. So you get an automatic number equal to the level, and then you roll a number of times equal to the level. And then your opponent gets a number of saving throws uh, equal to their magic defense level. And then each hit does between the spell's original power and two times that number. Oh, right, I gotta re-equip Furion. There's a lot of uh, technical stuff in the battles in this game that's just not there in the previous one. And I kind of like it a lot because like all the fights matter, and they matter a lot. One MP for Furion, and I will try to get another one in the next battle by uh, curing everybody else. Actually, let's take a look at Min's spell, Minu's spells. He's got a lot of good stuff. Uh, a lot of these don't do what they did in the last game, like Fog is not a defense spell. try to spend the rest of Furion's MP in this next fight. Right, that's good. Technically, I think I only need to spend two to make it happen, but if I can spend three, that's perfect. Again, attack yourself, attack Furion. Oh, Leg Eater, please. Alright, well, it still worked. Okay, so one thing we can do, if they just aren't attacking somebody enough, is to put everybody else in the back. Just do it that way. And we definitely want to cure first. There we go. And because we did that, our bill is only like 22 gil. We got 160. 
there are a couple things that I want to buy on the way to the first dungeon. One is the Blink spell, which uh, works a lot like how it works in... Oops. Yes. In future games, where it increases your evasion. What this does is increase your evasion level. Basically, the number of saving throws you get against attack. Against the physical attacks. And you increase that level by being attacked physically a lot. It's also worth noticing that everybody in the back is still getting weapon proficiency growth. Just by getting, uh, just by trying to attack, even if it doesn't work. I'll try to stave off strength growth if I can. Oh. And Rhea just does not want to gain HP. Hope that Maria doesn't clock herself. Oh, she's too powerful. Can't even donk herself. Let's let's try that again. Come on, Maria, you can do it. Just bonk yourself on the head. There you go. Good job. This game's so weird. Oh, so... Oh, she got Vit, though. That's good. Well, when we eventually do get a uh, an HP growth, it'll be a good one. Alright, so the big trap in this game is that you can skip a lot of the overworld by paying money. But you really need that money. And you need the stuff that you're buying with it. find the magic shop. Uh, in this town you can start getting some pretty good armor. But what I want is magic. This is where you can get the blink spell. Oops. You can sell Minwu's conch shell and then get the blink spell. We want to start leveling that up right away. Alright, so cast Blink on self. Cast Stick on self. And that's an 8th, so she should be in line to get something. Goblins, incidentally, are something you kind of want to watch out for. Uh, they can, in fact, attack your back row. They have a bow and arrow, so they can do that, and their arrows do a lot of damage. So you can't mess with them too much. You can mess with them a little. Ugh. Still no growth. Let's take a look at the map. Oops. So this game they give you this kind of globe-looking thing. Uh, the land masses in this game are very strange. They're all kind of interconnected. You can theoretically just walk across the entire world map if you want. 
And where we're going is, oh my god, that's real. we're going there very slow, but it's the tiny dot in that big body of water to the northwest of the square. That is where the first dungeon is located. That is the Semite Falls and where we can find Mithril. Oh, ouch. Well, she better gain, uh, <laughs> better gain some HP after that one. That's a big hit. there. Got lucky there. Bit up, HP up. Good. And her ice spells at 63. That's nice. I'd like it to get to 2 before we get there, but I don't see that happening. Oh yeah, you could save anywhere on the world map. I completely forgot about that. It's one of those things that's, uh... You think would just always be the case, but... We only started in this game. if I can get any enemies to run away. So fear reduces the morale of enemies if it is success successful on them then they will try to run away on their next turn. An enemy running is just as good as winning. Take a reset there. <laughs> Ambushed, fled. Oh, that's me in the last game whenever I get a strike first. I like Furion to get hit, not to uh, evade things. It's also worth noting that the first cast of any spell is the one that gives you the most proficiency in each battle. So if you have a lot of different spells, uh, it's better to cast them all once instead of casting one of them a lot. Just a weird quirk of the system and how it calculates the weapon proficiency stuff. Oh, hmm. This is a good fight. Uh... So the green goblins are pretty dangerous. Uh, they can and will attack your back row quite frequently. Also a little more evasive than the regular old goblins. Yeah, they have that bow attack, and it does a significant amount of damage. You, uh, you gotta watch out for it.
Hmm. Here. Now I'll blink self. Cast ice. Attack. I'm, I'm aiming to try to get some MP ups in this fight now, oh, but it didn't happen. Guy was too fast. Maybe I should have had him hit himself. These sprinters can hit pretty hard if they do hit. I'm worried that I'm actually too hard to hit because of the shields. But you want the shields because you want your agility to go up because later on in the game you don't want to get hit. It's very, uh... It's very involved. All these enemies are too weak. All right, let's see. Let's see if you can bonk yourself in the back row. I don't know that you can. I don't think you can. We'll try it. you can't. <laughs> That's a little weird. But at least it's internally consistent with the rules of the game. Another quirk of the, uh, the accounting system in this game is that it puts all acquired proficiency towards whatever you're equipped with at the end of the end of the fight, no matter what you actually attacked with. It's strange, but it means that I'll get weapon experience for the shield as well as the staff, even though I didn't have it when I used said staff. Okay. How am I doing on... No, I need a little more... I need more HP. I gotta do this, then. I'm not getting the HP. Reach out and bonk self. The enemies are too scared, they're making it difficult to beat myself up. I, I need these gains, though. Ah, much better. If we can get to 200 gil as well in this fight, that would be very good. Ice the bow users so they don't kill Maria. Hmm. 
Alright, that should give me what I need. Great. Well, let's just hope that random number god is kind. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> exactly 200 gil. Oh, that's amazing. Alright, well, we'll have to wait on restoring MP until the next town. But that is perfectly fine. So we need another one of those copper queerses. There we go. Oh, you know what? Let's not sell the clothes. It, we can have Minwoo wear clothes. Because right now he's he's just naked. He's just wandering around like Whatever, man. I'm... I'm liberated. I'm free. dangerous encounter. This could go poorly. Alright. I will start with Blink. Uh, probably on Maria. I need to take that off of her. And ice the sucker. And you know, if we're gonna get more, uh, more HP right now, that's perfect. Ice this guy. Yeah, this is the strongest random encounter there is in the first uh, segment of the game. And its main issue is it's really high defense. If you don't have a black magic user, you're not going to beat that guy most of the time. means it's time for Guy to uh, take a seat in the back. Oh, we're gonna get him again. That's good. Alright, so I gotta make sure that I get a really big roll on my Cure Spell here. So we're doing that. And we're gonna leave it like this as well for the Ice Spell. That's perfect. Yeah, the spell does. 22, that's good. I think they have 45 health. We'll just make sure that uh, she survives. Oh, good. That's what I like to see. Spread that damage around. And then, if I can just... Uh, no, who do I need to blink? Him. If Furion goes first, this could be one of the most lucrative battles I've ever had. Okay, well it's not going to be that great, but it'll still be good. get an MP up. Guess not. I will save, though. 
now that Maria is starting to pick up some HP, well, things are going way better. Now, this could be a big cash encounter. These, uh... These goblins can drop up to 50 gil each. They have an average value of 16, which is still pretty good. Oh no, we're curing. Curing is what's happening. Not hitting the goblins, so that's another thing we're doing. We don't need to hit the goblins. And here. Not. Furion's just a little too slow to get those spells off before Maria. Oh, he's still got an MP up, though. Wow, that's unexpected. It's good, though. We're, uh... We're getting that spell experience. Slowly but surely. Good fight. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get Maria the uh, the next MP buff. If I use four or five ice spells, that should get there. I might be able to bonk uh, Maria with a sword and get another another HP up. That's a little unexpected. All that damage on Guy, he could get another HP up. What is going on? Get that right before town, that's perfect. Face that, hit Ferion. Maria should definitely be getting it now. Let's just get those gains. Let me see some gains. Huh. That didn't go as expected. But here's a potion. Very strange fight, that one. 
All right, so this is the town of Salamando. And what we're learning is that uh, the menfolk were all kidnapped and sent to work in the mines. Rip. Oh, uh, but we did see that Maria's Ice Spell has uh, increased in power. So the cost of a spell is equal to its level. So all any level 1 spell, no matter what it is, just costs 1. Same with level 2, and so on. But now that she has a level 2 spell, she can hit between 2 and 4 times with that Ice Spell. And it's uh, very powerful. Alright, here's Joseph's house. Joseph married with a daughter. Alright. So he sends us to the Semite Falls, where we were going anyways. Waterfall caves are, uh... I mean, they've been a thing in Final Fantasy since the first game. And this town has some pretty expensive spells. I I don't know what anti is. I'm not really sure what warp is either. I think it's the black magic version. Yeah, it's like warp in the first game. That's right. Uh, I don't know what anti is. Maybe it's... I'm trying to figure out what it is, but I don't, I don't actually know. Oh, I know, I'll, uh... Let me see what Salaman has in the shop. Spells... Oh, it's Sap. It's anti-magic. That's not useful. Alright, so the, the winner here is the Life Spell. Uh, I gotta get it at some point. Uh, Minwoo has one, though. So I don't need it yet. Oh, I got a potion. Alright, so I want to get one more. I've been trying to get that one last uh, MP up for Maria before we go to the next dungeon. Or go to the first dungeon, rather. And it's especially important now that she has level 2 spells. Even though I have an Aether, the absolute last thing that I want to do is spend that Aether. And fortunately I got a, a, a good fight for what I'm trying to do. That ether is worth 1,250 gold, and I need it to buy mithril stuff after we do this dungeon. So we got to get this uh, get this thing. And I'll try to get fury on one as well. Furion miss? He missed. Come on, Furion. power up on Furion as well. I don't think his soul has increased at all, though. His, uh... Yeah, his white magic stat hasn't gone up at all. That's a little noxious. I need these gains, otherwise we're gonna get killed by bombs.
all of a sudden these guys can't hit. And guy, <laughs> guy's gonna get all the gains. Everybody beat up Furion. He's being a big jerk. He can't hit the broadside of a barn. There we go. Uh, oh, I should re put my buckler. Maria's just not... <laughs> she's just not. I got off at Furion, but 45 health, it's not going to do it. So the strategy for getting uh, HP in the next dungeon is to agitate bombs and have them explode on you. Ain't happening at this rate. Such are the dangers of being too evasive. Yeah, get rid of the prospective bow users. No one can hit Maria. Slightly sneaky, but I might be able to cram one more MP growth out of this. I just, I just really need Maria to get one more HP, or else she's not going to survive. Perfect, okay. Now we're gonna be good. Oh, one other thing I should note is you might have seen that Guy started hitting twice. That's because his skill level got to two. You, uh, you get one hit per skill level, essentially. And Furion should have his by the time we make it to the, uh, the dungeon. Alright, so that's what our stats are going to look like as we go into the first dungeon. Ought to be just enough to get through. Uh oh. Hmm. 
And I shouldn't need to use the ether because there's a trick you can do to uh, restore your own MP. If anybody could hit anything. Slight, slight bit of greed. Anytime I could maybe squeeze out another HP growth, I kind of want to. That's one eleventh. It's not gonna be enough. It's not even gonna be enough for a point of vit. She got power, though. A little unexpected. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we gotta ice this guy. I didn't want to use any MP before I got there, but this guy sort of requires it. Keep using my MP like this. There are two bosses in the dungeon up ahead. One is a monster in a box, and the other is the actual boss. And it's a monster in a box you really have to fight because he's got the exit spell. Zero damage, but poison. I, I'm a little used to Etrian Odyssey, where uh, if you take zero damage from something, you can't get an ailment from it. Oh, do I wish that was the case in this game. Excellent fight for Furion. Excellent. Now, unlike the original game, you cannot get attacked while you're in the canoe. You can get attacked while you're in the boat. Like, um, actually, no, we'll start off with Maria in front. And if she starts taking hits, then we can think about uh, moving her back. Alright, I really like this dungeon music. It's very creepy. Dungeons in this game are generally very long and have a lot of traps and dead ends and places where things can go horribly for you. Some of the treasures are not good, like that treasure. Most of them are of significantly higher quality, though.
Well, it's still not enough to kill the Yeti. Hmm. Well, no need to break out the magic yet. want to see, in terms of getting a bunch of uh, health gains and the like, is bombs. Like the Final Fantasy bomb. They can't explode until you've done damage to them, and I can do damage to all of them at once. This is a tricky fight. Um, I think it's just all physicals, though. And we'll see who gets hit. That's not bad. They're really evasive, though. They're, it's hard to hit these guys. That should be enough attacks for Guy to start uh, increasing his evasion level. So single target physical attacks uh, go towards a hidden counter to decide whether or not you'll gain evasion, or an evasion level rather. And it's something like after you've taken three physical attacks from enemies only in the same fight, you'll gain a point of evasion proficiency. It's, uh, it's the hardest stat in the game to boost, and the game doesn't even tell you when you've boosted it. You just have to check your stat screen and see. I'm kind of thinking I might need to put a blink on a uh, guy there. Uh, 47 is 8. I think she needs to take a little more damage. That should be enough. If I can just squeak in that little HP gain there, I'll be pretty happy. Agility and HP. A good fight. That's all targeting. It's a little hard to tell. The uh, the flickering doesn't work too good on my PC. equipped. Furion does have that second level of... Oh! Min has become more powerful in the art of punch. I tried a, uh, I tried a punch wizard build once, and it didn't go very well. Because, uh... I was trying to do Fist Wizard and have Maria be both a black mage and a monk. And it didn't work great because she didn't gain any power, and when she did gain power, she lost intelligence. And uh, the two weren't compatible, I had to restart. Goblin. 
Nice. That's a good hit. It's it's so weird that you have to cheer for your characters to get beat up by the enemy. It's bizarre what this game does. I think that's part of why they never used this system again in mainline Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's a good hit. Maria should get another uh, HP boost here. all target the same, so that Maria will spend the MP. That's good. That was... yeah, that's a sixth of her MP. She, she could get a a growth in both on this one. Unlucky. Which is kind of the, uh... It's the theme of the game, is, you know, if you're lucky. And VIT and not MP. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, that's not good. That's actually dangerous. We could be in severe trouble if they all decide to shoot bows at me. Let's hope that uh, that blink spell hit. I don't know if it did. Ooh. Oh, that so this is where the tug of war between wanting to survive the battle and wanting to grow from the battle really starts to get you. It's fights like this are legitimately difficult. Not just in terms of winning them, but winning them in a way that actually advances the characters. I think I've got this one, though. I do need to be careful with my magic, though. I'm only on, like, the first floor. Just fit in HP, no MP up. I'm not saying I don't appreciate the HP, I appreciate it a lot. But... I was kind of hoping for both. Well, I'm glad the game has graciously decided to give me another go at it. As long as the soldier goes down off this ice, which it should, I don't think its HP can roll that high. Let's 
So that'll be another good battle. Another good one. I'm gonna get a lot of money, too. That's acceptable. That eye drop is very tempting to sell, but I think I'm going to keep it. Blind is one of the worst status ailments you can get. Alright. I need Furion to just cast a really good cure. A really good one. That's a good one. And how about a good blink, too? Try to take this guy out without magic because uh, Rhea's running out of a little of a bit of it. Ooh. And he can't gain anything off that since he was healed. I might as well cure again and see if I can get MP on uh, Furion. One damage. Yes. Yes. That's a sad cure spell. Pathetic cure spell. Power is okay, but it's not what I'm looking for. prove this, but I do think that the game increasingly targets Guy the most. Just in general. Kind of like how in the first game the lead slot was supposed to draw 50% of the attacks. I just think that Guy draws a greater percentage of the attacks than uh, anybody else in the party. Can't prove it. Just seems to be the case. Should get the front ones out of the way so I can go to town on the captain afterwards. Soldier luckily had nothing to do. That's perfect. I will have these guys take him on. Attacked a lot. I mean, you can see it right there. It's just all going after Guy, and they've been doing it all game. 
He almost always has the highest HP at the end, he has the highest evasion level at the end. I'm, I'm convinced that the game just targets him more than everybody else. cure him in the next battle. But uh, first we got to introduce trap rooms. So oftentimes in a dungeon, in order to, pro to progress, you have to pick the correct door out of a series of them. And if you don't, you end up in a room that has nothing in it except an almost guaranteed rare encounter. attack on Maria, and not a very strong one either. That could be interesting. And let's blink up just in case. up HP up. Yeah, trap rooms are they're really annoying, but they have value. But anyways, the uh, the leftmost door is correct here. these last two MP yet. We're going to approach uh, about halfway through the dungeon once we get through this uh, staircase. At the halfway point, we're going to find our first objective, and then you have a choice to either escape or uh, continue on to the main objective. And you know I want the main objective. One gill! Yes! Yes! One gill. got his stuff on. Uh, like that. Ice this. I would love another attack on Maria. That'd be great. If she can get to 100 HP, that'd be brilliant. Yeah, it's not happening, though. Oh well. Furion's getting stronger though. That's much appreciated. Hmm. 
Mm, it's a good hit on Fury, and it's not enough, though. It's barely 10% of, of his HP. Get him again, though. Oh, no. Oh, good. That's a weak crit. That's exactly the kind of crit you want. Nice, nice. Less nice. Not good. Uh-oh. Okay, so these things... ...are obnoxious. To say the least. But, they can be worth some good, uh... ...some good HP gains if you can correctly annoy them. A lot of times they'll just pass their turns and do nothing. But on one of those turns, if you've hit them instead, it will explode. Like that. And that's that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. And I wanted Furion to get the brunt of that, so he will gain more HP. This is great. Let's just annoy all of these enemies. It's perfect. So that trap room looks like it's going to be a huge boon. Only Vit. Only Vit. That's a little rough. I wonder if the game is maybe trying to cap my HP gains. I wouldn't be shocked if there's a system like that in place to make sure that you don't gain you know, too much HP too fast. While surprising, that's not the monster in the box. monster in the box is a lot nastier, and you'll know it when you see it. Oops. In fact, that monster in the box fight is probably where I'm going to use my uh, trump card for MP restoration. missing in this round. It's crazy that Guy hits the most when axes are the least accurate weapon. So only a staff up? What about... Oh, she's three behind. That's fine. And there's nothing down here. So in addition to the trap room, we've obviously got these dead ends. They're good and cool. This is a just a hard fight. Okay, that's a little better. I would like to agitate at least one of these bombs. It should still be strong enough to uh, guarantee somebody gets something. Here, I guess I left the window open. As long as it's not a bird, that'd be a little weird to have uh, flying around in your room. That could be cool. Not that, though. It's a, uh... It's a mosquito. Thank you. 
Now one thing that's kind of biting me a little bit is that I never bought any new weapons for anybody. Uh, they're all weapons that either I started with or I stole from Minwu. And as a result, I'm not going to be able to physically harm either of the bosses in this area. So it has to be magic. So, Paul's a good guy, he helps the slaves escape, and now we have to figure out how to kill the bosses. Ooh, almost a perfect run-up. Almost. This chest is very important, and it's surprisingly not actually guarded, it's just there's a guy. There's our fire magic tome. Hand that over to Maria. Good. Now we are, as they say, cooking with gas. I think that, uh, I believe that fire tome is the only treasure on this floor. But there's a lot of dead ends and other traps and unpleasant things here as well. is the way. Hmm. Would it be more HP? We'll see. That seems like just enough. Another hit on Maria would definitely do it. Hmm. A lot of missing, though. That's fine. That is all good. Oh, she didn't get anything. Not even Vit. And now on to the last floor. There's another very important treasure on this floor. So the way forward is right here next to the entrance, but the incredibly important treasure is across a bridge and through a bunch of other uh, random encounters with a boss. Too strong. Hmm. 
hits for 29 will do it. Alright, so to get to the treasure, we have to go the long way around. And then back. It's a little rough. But the encounters have been pretty kind to me so far. This wall as tight as possible. That's a trap room up to the northwest. That's nothing good. We don't need that. Furion becomes dumber. So that's the danger of attacking with a mage, is that if your power goes up, your intelligence might go down. But what I really need to get is more soul, and it's not happening. You're at exit, but suddenly monsters appear. And the guardian is a land turtle. Which is uh, basically an adamant toys. We can't hurt it. But we can ice it, and it'll hit four times for double damage. That unfortunately means that Maria is now out of MP. So what do we do if we run into a bunch of jellies or puddings that cannot be harmed? Well, don't worry, we've got something for that. And that is the change spell. And I'm going to have Minu cast it on Maria. I'm going to try anyway. Eventually we'll get it, and when we do, we will see that it is cool. We're going to give exit to Guy. Okay, here's a good one. We should be able to uh, get the swap off here. So we cast Change on Maria. And suddenly, Min has swapped stats with Maria. It is a very cool spell. It's barely ever useful. This is like the one time in the game that you're going to get a real good use out of it. But it's there. And uh, as you can see, Min got a whole lot of stuff for that. Now seems like a good time to move Maria to the back row. Um, get that off. Okay. I'm gonna do something wildly dangerous. It's probably a bad idea, but... how many of these things I can take out.
Now, the thing with the balloons is uh, they're not weak against ice in this game. They're actually weak against fire and lightning. So if we get through to another turn, I can uh, demonstrate that. That's perfect. Oh, good. Just what, uh, Doctor ordered. Nice. One's the boss. I think it's this one. Yes. Okay. This is a bit of a tough, uh, a tough fight coming up. Well, that's a horrible sound. Let's not hear that ever again. I'm going to move Min forward. The myth was mine! You must die. Ambushed? Oh, that's not good. Alright, we really got to get this guy down then. Well, I'm glad he missed. I can't believe it. Min did damage. That blink up. Get an ice spell. Yeah, this doesn't have a uh, boss music, but it is a boss. Uh, there is boss music in this game, though, later on. Oh, come on, Firon. You gotta live, man. You gotta live. This guy needs to punch Minwu. No! Tyrion, please! Oh, Tyrion died just before he could get sweet, sweet gains. Oh, but we got a Mithril Helm. That's good. That saves a lot of money. Oh, that's... It's really bad that Furion died. I don't want to have to use... my... ether. It's worth a ton of cash. It's amazing to me that Guy didn't die. He didn't get an equip upgrade at all the entire time. Oh, it's Vade's 9 now. That's a little rough. I don't know. Just have to, uh... See how it goes.
That's good. Um... Oh, Min Strong and Kill Yeti. That's pretty strong. Well, if that's the case, then I just need, uh... I just gotta survive back to Salamand. What is Minu's strength? 18? Is that it? He's almost as strong as Guy. Yeah. Maybe I ought to try Fist Mage again someday. See how he does with the soldier. Not bad. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so in the first game you had to pay to revive your guys if they died. Uh, but in this game it's free. It's gotta find the goddess statue. And uh, an angel comes down and revives Virian. <laughs> It's a little goofy, but it works. Just take that off. I just need Furion to get to uh, three. So once he gets to three, I'm going to switch him over to Knives. Tells us some things you already know. And thus begins the long trek back to... Altair. Uh, I think I'm going to turn into Mithril, and that's probably it. Oh, Pyrian got moved to the back row. That's not good. Um, yeah, I'll just make sure I get my fire experience. That'll be my goal, is to get fire leveled up and get Furion's sword skill to two. It's going to end up using a lot of swords and knives. Uh, the traditional Paladin, you know, Paladin Cecil sort of build would have uh, swords and shields at all times. 
but because the casting penalty on shields and most swords is so extreme, uh, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to go swords and knives. Because there is a combination of sword and knife that you can get uh, that makes you very evasive and not have any casting penalties. And also be very strong. So you can, can in fact, get the best of all worlds if you, uh, if you try. That guy's just killing it. fire. That's what we're trying to learn is fire. Blinking Cure. Eventually we're going to need to buy Protect as well, but uh, Protect is bugged in this game. It only works on the caster. And that is okay in this case, since Firion's going to have low defense for a lot of the game. Real good magic, or uh, money gain. rather. Gotta get that uh, blink spell up. I'm... Did I... I've already forgotten what I did with uh, Furion. Oh, he attacked. It's a little weird to me that Maria has more HP than Furion. It just seems wrong. Is her bit so small?
There we go, there's a soul up. Finally. It's his first one. That's right, you don't you don't retarget. I'll probably wouldn't have run one round anyways, because horde run away. And down, power up. Wow, that's a good fight to have if I get two more points of power out of it. Anybody hurt? Ah, no one's hurt. Yeah, so I really need to get Fury and Spells to level 2, so he can start getting more MP. But that's going to be something for uh, next time. Warship and airship keywords. The Sid was uh, once a knight. That's an interesting thing. Alright, so now we need to give the mithril to Tobal in the weapon shop. It's oh, always just an ordinary old man. But it's just a ruse. Let's hand over that mithril. And what that does is it adds an extra shop to the town to uh, both the weapon and armor shops that has mithril, mithril stuff. I'm going to get a uh, some of this stuff. But I'm going to do the exact math on... Uh, what I can afford uh, next time. First I want to make sure that I trip all the plot flags so that we can do the next dungeon. Bothsk. That's where we're going next. Bothsk. And destroy the second Death Star before it's completed. Mysterious Dark Knight was recently joined the Empire. Alright. So our next mission is to either destroy the warship or delay its completion in the town of Bothsk. And we're going to do that next time. We just, uh... This mosquito thing is really attacking me. All right. That's uh, gonna do it for me for tonight. I'm gonna, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go do something. Probably drive around, try to get my car to uh, make sure that it its computers are running. I will see you next time. 
I don't know if I'm going to do more of this next time, or if we're going to finally start on Bloodborne. I'll decide later. And uh, have a good night.